Okay. Nail tip application, monomer over polymer service. All right, so I've already set up my table. This would be included in your time. So just remember, you're gonna have your Ziploc bag, you're gonna sanitize your station, then you're gonna set up your stuff. I have several little plastic back towels here. You know, you might just have one or two, okay? I still have an extra paper towel just for my brush in case it gets too wet, okay? And um, you do have 32 minutes to do this service, so again, don't be in a rush, okay? You could do this on a hand. I like this manicure mannequin finger because it does have a free edge, so that is wonderful. And we wanna make sure this nail bed right here isn't a round little rubber ball that you can't stick anything to, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do is obviously sanitize our hands, set up our manicure table. Okay, prepare nail for service. So we're gonna push back that cuticle. <clears throat> so, definitely you're going through the motions here, you know, that you know you're supposed to be pushing back that cuticle and filing the free edge. Okay. Obviously, if you had a client, this is what we would do. Okay. So that means, too, they're looking for, are you jabbing that cuticle straight up and down, or are we doing little circles? Okay, same way we learned just our basic manicure. When I file, I'm going from the outer edge in, outer edge in, towards the center. Okay then I am buffing the natural nail. So we do have to scuff this up a bit because we are um, wanting to remove any oil or any ridges that the nail tip might not adhere properly. Okay, so if you look at your own natural nail, you're gonna see a bunch of imperfections and that's why we buff the nail a little bit before gluing a tip on so that we can make sure that tip's gonna stay flat to it, okay? Then we're gonna just brush away the debris. Okay. And we're gonna apply our dehydrator. Okay, now when we're um, selecting and adhering our nail tip, I suggest you have two or three nail tips to choose from and make sure you know obviously which one is the right one. <laughs> For this little guy, I really like a number six nail tip because I really do feel that it fits well on the edge from side to side, okay? And all you wanna do is select the correct one. So you're looking at that to make sure those edges fit correctly. Now, your nail tip application, you're gonna do your glue in the well, okay? So we're not gonna stick it on the finger, we're gonna stick it, put a drop right here in that well of your nail tip. We're gonna hit that free edge against the edge of that well and Stick it on there and just let it do its thing for about 30 seconds. Make sure you don't actually stick your finger to it because that would be a mess. Okay, and then um, I do put a tiny drop of glue across the top of that smile line also okay okay i'm gonna let that sit for a second I really want it to make sure that it's stuck on there before I start filing or buffing or clipping it away, okay? All right, so for this type of mannequin finger, because it's so curved, I cannot use my nail tip cutters. So I'm going to use my 
toenail clippers or just large clippers. And I'm gonna make sure that, um, you know, you could do this however long or short you wanted. Another reason to make sure. So I just do it once here and then once on this side. It doesn't have to be any certain length, but we definitely want to make sure that it's long enough to apply acrylic to. Hmm, I don't know why it's not sticking. scuff this up more. time and it is you know very likely that you're gonna have issues when you go to state board you got to just keep going just start over keep going whatever you need to do to make sure you get all your steps done and just get in and out it's better to just keep going or start over if you have to than to, you know, panic and <laughs> okay. All right. All right, so now we're going to, we trim the nail. Now we're gonna uh, blend that tip. So we do have to buff that tip a little bit. You can see that it's, you know, risen above the natural nail a little bit. So we really do wanna do that um, buff that out. Okay. All right. So when we're buffing that little thing, we definitely don't have to get rid of it completely because we'll destroy the natural nail if we do that. Okay. So main thing is that we're just softening that plastic hard bump there that it's trying to stick to that nail. It's going to kind of raise up a little bit and so we definitely want to just get rid of that. This is where they get a little crazy with the drill, in my opinion, at the salons, you know. 
and this is where we end up having those ridges, right? So when we take our nails off and we got all those ridges in our nail, it's because of this part right here. And then we're gonna shape it. And I am just going to shape it round. So I cut that in a V. So all I have to do is round out that soft edge. Let me round out that sharp tip and that's it. And I'll go down the sides one time. And that's it. and our nail primer. And they have primer pens, they have little, you know, liquid that looks like a little nail polish. So it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you're using a primer, okay? All right, now we'll go to our monomer and polymer. I have a dappin dish, I'm gonna put a little bit in here. I never want to dip my brush directly into my clean liquid. If your powder is not in one of these little things, you might want to put, put it in there. Um, I know some of your kits have like a little tube, you know? So you could either get a second dappin dish or you could just get one of these from Dollar Tree, this little empty thing and put your powder in there. And we're just going to make sure our brush has plenty of monomer. And it should be very wet, but it shouldn't be dripping. Clean one side. I personally like to drag it across the powder. And then your first bead goes on the free edge. This one is gonna be over that smile line, so you wanna make sure that it's a little thicker, a little tougher. You also want your nail to have kind of that arch in it or that high place. Definitely don't want to get acrylic on the skin or the cuticle. So before it completely hardens, make sure you're using your monomer. Almost like we use no polish remover on the skin, same way, okay? And then our third bead. Which is right at the top. Again, if we have our bead and we just push it up into that cuticle and we get it nice and round, you know, our little U shape, then we should be fine to just pull it down and blend it.
Okay, and now our timer starts. How long do we leave it on there? Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, this is the hard part because we're gonna get anxious, right? And we're gonna think we're running out of time, but we're not. We've actually only been doing this 15 minutes so far. And I even had that incident with my nail tip. So I had to re-glue it, but you know what? We're still have plenty of time. So we're doing okay. This is when I would take time to clean up. That way I'm ready to go. I can just stick everything in my trash bag when I'm ready. And remember after this is when you're going to do your blood spill service so um, when you're done and you've raised your hand to be graded and you show her your little finger here you know um, leave it leave it out okay then you're gonna clean off everything wipe your table down let her know you're finished with that service right but I would keep this and then use this as your blood spill or your blood service. So you pretend obviously that you cut the finger open, all that, you know. I think this is easier than using your, some people will do it on the mannequin's head, but um, I feel like it's better. It's just easier to do this way. And it's more likely that you're gonna cut someone's finger or your own finger. <laughs> Now, odorless um, acrylic is definitely going to be softer. It's gonna be tackier, okay? What you're waiting for is the layers underneath to have hardened, okay? So three minutes is gonna be, you're still gonna feel a little bit of tackiness here, okay? But what we wanna do is make sure that everything underneath is nice and hard, okay? All right, so now when you're using your, um, I want you to use your nail file, okay? If you have one of these, it's 100 grit on one side and 180 on the other, or 180 and 100, the rougher side, okay? That's your 100. That's where you would chomp through toenails, chomp through plastic nail tips, never a natural nail, okay? So I want you to use the 100, I mean the 180 side, which is a little softer, and you're going to go across this nail in one direction, just from all the way. And you're going to actually buff off that top sticky layer. Okay. So you're going to see it coming up and it's going to feel creepy, but you still do it. Okay. So I'm just going across this way all the way from one side to the other. you can see how that top layer is coming up and I'm pushing it off this direction okay and you can see all that is just the excess this is that tacky layer that was on top that's what I'm getting rid of the nail okay and then you're gonna feel it it's not tacky and sticky anymore okay Now we're going to buff. 
okay? And this is just definitely, we're looking at the edges, the top silhouette, the profile of this sucker. I want it to look pretty. Think about it. Do you want that on your nail? Okay. So we're buffing out now any little imperfections. got too thick at the tip or in one area you know, you're just buffing that out to where it looks nice and pretty So it should be nice and smooth. It should be dry. You should have a little bit of an arc over that smile line. Okay, it should have a nice shape to it. And that's it. Okay. So then you would just take your time to throw everything away, put it in your little trash bin, sanitize your workstation. Raise your hand to be graded. Of course, you put all this away. Spray down your workstation. Sanitize your hands. Raise your hand that you're ready. Right? 22 minutes. 23 minutes. And we even messed up. 